marriage as well. And our give and take seems to be is the hardware store. You know, you're always going to the hardware store and you got to get a fastener and you never know where it is and what it looks like and I get bored out of my mind. But, okay, here I am going to the hardware store. I'm looking really happy and cool. And here we are, you know, we're in the midst of looking for the fasteners. And I have a tendency to wander off. <laughs> look, look what I have found. This is my pot of gold. <laughs> Here I discovered fabulous words. Words like windmill wings, glacial pool, old prairie. They're all there, and they were just there for the taking. <laughs> so naturally, I took a whole bunch. <laughs> I mean, I have like a fabulous collection of these paint chips. And then we sent our assistant, Patty, to get more, and she told them she was making a quilt out of paint chips. So they gave her lots of chips, and in fact, they took pity on Patty. They gave Patty the big chip sampler. Yes, yes, I am blessed with the big chip samplers. So what do I do with paint chip? I call it paint chip poetry. So first, there are several ways in which you can use paint chip poetry. One of them is you just take a photograph and you take some of your paint samples. Here's my photograph. I'm going to need to write about this. So, I gathered up some appropriate colored chips, and your chips should kind of match your, pho your photograph. Kind of. Well, you know, there's some give and take there. <laughs> and this is what I came up with. Here's my chips in the photo. These are the paint chip colors. I mean, look at these wonderful word combinations. I call them polar breath. A polar sky swept through the cache on windmill wings, leaving icy moon drops on twigs and branches, and the wind's breath at buttress bases. I mean, that describes the photograph. So let's do another one. Here we have another photo from the cache. Here I gave Benjamin Moore, my friend, Mr. Picture Maker. I gave him credit. Careless whispers echo off honeycomb sandstone walls, the Tupelo Trail. Lightning bugs have landed, weaving their yellow flashes. The whispering woods are ablaze with the sparkling sun. Our friend Lunamoth, I call this one Broadway Sunshine. Here again are the colors. It pales the color of morning sunshine. The sun dances off wings with pink and red edges. Alone on the tree, it's as if the Broadway light. You can also use them if you want to describe something. And I got these from the forum. This is off the forum for the cash. And they just wrote uh, red clover and, you know, Susan's eye is actually, you know, dark reddish brown. And I thought, oh, you could do better. So I got my paint chips. I took the photo. And instead I said, Susan's eye is not black at all, but frontier brown color of the prairie size that was ripped with John Deere's new self-scouring plow. <laughs> to me, frontier brown, just you then sprung that image. This one of red clover. His name may be red clover, but the blossom color reminds me of a blackberry smoothie, a cool image on this hot June day, and a visual treat for my taste buds. Again, I thought very descriptive instead of just red clover. So I'd like you to get into groups. I'd like, I think we've got enough for four. I want everybody to be in groups of four. No, I want four groups of six. <laughs> or six groups of four. I wanted six groups of four. Okay. Six <laughs> groups of four. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is <laughs> you a photo. What I want you to do is use the chips 
and write a poem about the photo. And how long should they have? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? 15 minutes? 15. You want us to count off or just distribute ourselves? You can distribute yourselves. I'm, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. <laughs> and is it an individual poem for each person? Yeah, that's one poem. It can be a group poem. A group poem. <laughs>
Talk to me about what How it How are we going to describe these shows? I've never seen them. We guessed orange. that. Those are not orange rocks to me. Oh, I know. It, is. it looks like Utah instead of Yosemite. It's so orange. He doesn't want anybody to go. Rock moss. Here we go. All right. Now. We've got our selection. We have to get our Okay. Are you doing a Okay. Oh, no. We're doing a poetry. No, we're supposed to do one as a group. Because I don't know if she talked to you. Talk about the sunset. Getting the tape or whatever. Or bonds on. Yes, they listen to her hands. <laughs> I like Copper Haze. Copper Haze fell over in the granite. Yeah, what was granite? The, these are granite. I know. So, <laughs> so, so listen to what I got so far. <laughs> <laughs>